Singers love the straw. After they warm up or reset their voice with the straw, they notice an ease and flexibility in their voice. They're able to smooth out voice breaks as they approach difficult notes with more consistency. Why is this the case? The straw allows for consistent interaction because the lip opening and back pressure are constant. My simulation studies produce inertograms that show that narrowing the tube in strategic places, like above the vocal folds with the epilaryngeal tube, at the lips, or with a straw, help improve the push-pull interaction above the vocal folds. That push-pull interaction of sound pressure waves also help singers transition through the resonances in the vocal tract that can cause voice breaks. The straw gives us more flexibility as we train muscles to adjust optimally to change in pitch and loudness. The straw also helps us find our optimal pitch range for speech. I think most singers and speakers want that flexibility. Sometimes we want that tender, soft high note or need that strong, low resonance that create interest and expresses meaning. Unpredictable voice breaks are frustrating and can get in the way. I'm fascinated by your inertograms that show how and where the straw maximizes the vocal tract pressures, shown in green so positively in our vocal range. The inertograms I've introduced in the Vocology book are helpful visualizations of vocal tract inertance or the push-pull interaction we've been talking about, the inertograms can help show us how to transition through voice breaks and why the epilaryngeal tube and the straw increase efficiency when we need it in our vocal range. When we experience efficiency in our voice, we start to learn the most optimal vocal fold position and shape, as well as the optimal shape of the vocal tract. Can this apply to optimizing the vocal instrument for preservation? We're all trying to preserve flexibility and muscle mass as we age, and will that help prevent injury? Of course, using the vocal instrument efficiently will prevent injury, and as you use it fully, as it should be played, you will preserve flexibility and muscle mass. This is similar to what we are encouraged to do with the rest of our body as we age. I know there's increasing evidence that straw phonation helps rehabilitate injured vocal folds that are stiff and swollen. You're right. Straw-like therapy protocols are not inferior to other well-known therapy protocols that focus on optimal use for healing. So to sum up, if the vocal folds are in the wrong position and are shaped poorly and the vocal tract isn't helping as it could, the straw exercises will teach the intricate muscles of the vocal instrument to adjust efficiently in our vocal range. This is helpful for preserving an efficient vocal instrument, preventing injury, and rehabilitating injured, stiff, or swollen vocal folds. Yes, if you use the straw often, with lots of variability in pitch and loudness, the muscles will remember those adjustments and preserve a more efficient instrument.